Now, we reported a bit earlier on in the bulletin on Deputy President William Ruto's apparent about turn on the NYS scandal that has caught many by surprise. Earlier in the year, the executive has been consistent in dismissing reports of graft not just in the NYS scandal, but also in emerging new cases of corruption in the government. NTV's Brenda Wanga reports. It had been a case of closing ranks on the tale of corruption in government fronted by the NYS scandal that involved billions of shillings. The government has then constituted the executive banding together to water down allegations of the loss of taxpayer money in the NYS scandal. That it was upon the accounting officer to ensure resources are used lawfully in an authorized manner, effective, efficient, economical, and transparent. That letter I signed, in practical sense, was on behalf of the cabinet secretary. Our wenzetu mnaona wanapiga hii makelele na nduru ya mambo ya ufisadi ni kwa sababu hiyo ni maneno ambayo wanakarabati ili tuondoke katika barabara ya kuwahudumia wa Kenya. No less than the second in command, the deputy president made these comments in particular reference to the NYS scandal. Papo imetokea wizi kama ile ilitokea NYS ikiongozwa na ule mama waiguru. Sisi tumesema kumetokea wizi. But it is perhaps his reference to the scandal as theft rather than corruption that will have the most impact. And we know that theft of public funds has happened as it did in the NYS presided over by Waiguru. We have said theft of public funds has occurred and we have taken action as government. In the past, the executive has gone to great lengths to distance itself from these allegations, but the statement of admission perhaps changes the scenario. During her appearance before the Parliamentary Accounts Committee, the former CS for devolution didn't shy away from stating that the loss of the taxpayers' money was orchestrated by forces above her. She did not mention names. The admission of theft in government coupled with the premise of action taken, however, opens a new chapter in what is seen as the government's efforts to self-cleanse in the face of mounting allegations of fraud and loss of public funds. Brenda Wanga, NTV, Nairobi.